try that. She'll be where everything will be right where it needs to be in about six months time. That's what usually happens. I sell it and buy another one. So yeah. <laughs> Since I've started this bike, it's um, flashing fault codes up and I found one little problem with the throttle body where the injector was, it was like leaking a bit of fuel out so I just spun it around and it seemed to click in and I don't think it's leaking anymore, it wasn't last night. Uh, looks dry. But anyway, it's, it's unconnected a load of things. And then more fault codes come up obviously because things are disconnected and it's it's not cleared or it's got like four fault codes up still I think but it seems to be running all right um, so it's just yeah so you can't beat a carb so you haven't got all that bloody stuff messing around but we'll sort it but it seems <clears throat> 
So we've just had a run round on it, um, and it's hard. The tracks. I've not ridden this track for. I think I looked on my phone over a year. It's been rotivated, so it's like fresh. So it's hard to get a time, but it feels. The chassis feels good. That feels good on it. It just feels like it's lacking a bit of bottom end out the corners, but the gear and I've got, I've got a 1450 on it. Um, I don't even know what standard it is. I think it's 1449 maybe. Um, so some corners, third feels right on the limit in some of the tight corners, but I can get away with it. Um, then there's a couple of bits where you go to fourth and it's a little bit third's too low, fourth is a bit high, so when I come out tomorrow I'll try a 13 on it um, and see what it's like. I know from other bikes out here they always like a bit lower gearing, but um, as long as I get the corner, good third and fourth for corners, um, that'll be good. Um, yeah, not first impression is it's pretty good, it's not, it's not blowing my mind away. I've ridden the one in Florida, it's not blowing my mind away and I'm like, whoa, the thing's fast, but for me it's all at the top, like you've got to hang on it and, and get it going. <clears throat> on a track like this it's all, you want that good bottom and mid. Um, so I would say this feels a little bit better off the bottom than what the one in Florida did, but again, different terrain, different conditions. Um, I think the gear in a little bit, so um, it'll be interesting. That may be the front pipe. I think that one over there had a different style. I'm trying to have a stock header pipe on. Um, so when I try the stock header pipe, I'll get more of an indication because you've got obviously I've got a dep on it now. Um, so that might be why it feels like it's got a bit more bottom, but you won't until you back to back it. I won't know. I might stick the, the stock pipe on. It's like way less way revier or way less revier it's hard to know so um yeah the bike it, it feels good like i say chassis wise it feels good maybe a little bit hard on the rear but again this track always makes the rear of a bike feel hard um so i'm not worrying too much yet i'm just riding around get some laps on it and um yeah see if these fault codes shift or um yeah if if that's causing anything untoward with it um it feels, like I say, it feels like it's alright. You never know. Electronic power valve, so it could be, could be something like that, or... Hmm, don't know. I've looked at the codes, one of them was fuel pump pressure, which that would, last night when there was fuel leaking out of it, that would make sense for that, but there's nothing coming out now. If, if there's anything, if there's any leakage there, it would, it would fire fuel out for sure like it was but like I said it clicked in and it felt good then it was good it wasn't leaking so it's always so much I've never had a new bike yet that's never been it's never freaking ran right so we'll see I guess see what happens but go and do a few more laps and get used to it dial it in and see what we need to rip out of it and change on the clamps back it feels I feel like I'm over the front too much um, it's where I have the old like the the old bike set at and it works good on them but this feels like you you've stood over the front a lot more than what you're on the old bike I quite like the riding position it feels I think it's more comfortable for me it feels more like the old bikes used to back in the good old days like in my old, oh, Chris Taylor will laugh when I say this, but my old old like 
05, 06 bikes, the old RFS bikes. Um, they feel a bit more roomy like that. A lot different riding position on it than what the the current bikes. Yeah. There we go. I would say it's more Japanese bike. Japanese bikes, the handlebars on the mounts are always way further back than what a, a KTM's always been. This feels like if you move a Honda or a Yamaha far forward on the clamps, it's unrideable. This feels a bit more like that, where I would say the bike prefers to be further back. That's it, they're both on the same. That's the main thing. The old sun's getting low as well. It's hard to see around there, but good fun little trek. As long as you don't go off the cliff, I'll film you when you go around later, Dario, and see what um, see what you reckon. Do us some do us some cliff jumping. Right, try that. She'll be where everything will be right where it needs to be in about six months time. <laughs> That's what usually happens. I sell it and buy another one to start again. Yeah, not a bad day. The biggest problem was the sun in the end, but that's not a bad problem to have. Um, yeah, done a few fast laps around on it. Um, didn't really have any issues with it, just getting the bars in the right place. I'm real picky with that. There's still not, I need to go back forward a little bit. Um, I changed the preload on the forks a couple of turns on here. Um, and that was better in certain places, but I went two laps on it, so I went back a lap, so it's halfway in the middle now. Yeah, it's, it's a hard little track to get an, a great idea, but um, it's good for pulling out of corners. What I noticed the most is um, the slow map, I was, felt way easier to ride, way less, and not much slower, like a tiny bit slower, um, you can notice it coming out of the corners is just like a little bit lazy. Put it on the green map and it rips your arms out when the power valve comes in, she goes. Um, and but you're going from A to B quick. So if you can get if you can learn to slow down enough for the corners and get the corners nice, it's definitely the way way to go on it, which is surprising for me because I often ride on a slow map on most of my bikes. Um, I like a real easy bike, which is surprising to a lot of people, but apart from that, chassis feels good on it. I, I really like that. Just getting used to it, getting into corners, getting confident to drop the front end in, um, which that's just like any bike when you've, when you've not quite used to it. Yeah. But that as well, the sun, it's hard to see the line, so you're just trying to tilt your head down and then, yeah, it's not ideal, but the only, th the only thing that I think I'm gonna, main thing I'm gonna try tomorrow is gearing. Um, 14.50 on it now, I think I'm going to go 14.51 so I've got a better third in the tight corners and then I can short shift it to fourth on the small straights. At the minute it's not pulling out the corners like I want it to and then I'm going to fourth and the time I'm in fourth it's nearly time to go back down again to third and it's almost falling over in fourth because it's not pulling it enough. So I think that I think that'll help and not just on this track I generally, when I get a bike working around here, it'll, it'll work um, on a big fast motocross track, which also maybe tomorrow if we get time, I'm gonna go there as well. Um, but quite quite more impressed now. My first few laps of it, I was like, ooh, dear, it's like a bit flat, and, um, but obviously new and tight. It's loosened up a bit now and it's starting to come to a little bit. So um, yeah, I wouldn't say I'm, like well impressed and speechless and how good it is like i've been with some bikes before but it's got great potential with it for sure it's 
I would say the power's too much at the top for me. So we need to bring that back down eventually. But at the minute, the main thing is getting the, getting the suspension and that dialed in and getting, getting that, you know, comfortable because that's the most, most important bit for me. The engine, I can play around with gearing and stuff to get that sort of not bad for now. And then, um, yeah, we'll get, we'll maybe get onto that in the, in the next few weeks. But um, yeah, pretty impressive day and uh, see what tomorrow brings. Ha <laughs> ha! That is mad.